Sunday morning, here for a bit of an experiment. We've got three para to give us hand and eight machine guns. Let's give it a whirl. Come on, Paris, get your kids, let's go. Right, lads, listen in to the rage brief. Today, we're going to conduct a static gun line shoot to replicate eight machine guns within the wings of a Hawk Hurricane plane during the Battle of Britain. Right, get the number ones on the gun now, get ready, OK? NCO's behind them. Ballots and during, nice and quick, OK? Should take no longer than 10 minutes, airborne. Guys at the Machine Guns Division of the Infantry Specialist Weapons School, 3 para will use the GPMG, general purpose machine gun, with a similar rate of fire and almost identical caliber of bullet to the Browning 303s of World War II fighters. By the time they go into action, they must handle a gun as easily as a mug of beer. Make sure you get your ears, son. Today's exercise is about testing range. At the start of the Battle of Britain, pilots were told to fire at a target when it was 400 yards away. But later in the battle, they were told to engage at 250 yards instead. So, yeah, the goal of today's experiment is to see what difference it made going from 400 yards to 250 yards. Anyway, we're nearly at 400 yards. Get the cow pats in. The first target is installed at the 400 yard mark. It is a life-size replica. Three and a half football pitches away from the simulated hurricane. Here we are in the hurricane. Can you see the silhouette? It's got Messerschmitt 109. Hello, Muppet. That's a little gun! That boy for rapid! Rapid! Hurricanes and Spitfires only had around 16 seconds of ammunition. Fire! Pilots were encouraged to fire in three-second bursts. Fire! So as not to waste their 2,600 bullets in one go. No longer burst than that, one. Fire! The equal and opposite recoil force of firing eight guns in a wing every time the trigger was pulled, the aircraft would slow down. Hey, Springs! The next part of the experiment sees a second target installed at 250 yards, two and a half football pitches away. An identical amount of bullets will be fired from the pilot's eye view. Slow guns! Rapid! Fire! The bullets travel at 1,600 miles per hour. Fire! One third of a second after pulling the trigger. Fire! The bullet hits the target. to assess the damage. Here we go. We're just coming up to our 400-yard experiment. And what the um, Air Ministry was after was 16 shots in a one-foot area. We've got our test piece. So that's a one-foot. So let's go and have a look. What we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine seven, four. I'm just trying to be the most optimistic. If we're looking at engine area... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen! <laughs> Good work, boys. Good work. So, yeah, there we go. There we go. Remember, upside down V12, that's probably the majority of the engine, so that'd be taken out of the sky, no doubt. At a range of 400 yards, pilots couldn't consistently deliver a lethal density of bullets, especially when wing flex, airflow, and a moving target were factored in. 
let's go and have a look at our second experiment. Let's go for a look. Watch the cow, perhaps, for. Bullets from machine guns naturally scatter as they fly away from the barrel. So the closer the target, the greater the concentration of hits in the middle. Oh, heck, yeah. 16 there, 16 there, 16 there, 16. You, you can see where I'm coming from, can't you? 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. There we go. We've done some damage there. So, yeah, a lot more destructive power. And then there were some pilots that took it to the extreme, right? They got down to 150 yards, and then some nutters beyond that got down to 50 yards. So even more destruction. You what? You what? In 1940, 97 out of every 100 bullets missed. But those skillful enough to fly at extreme close quarters were guaranteed to pack a bigger punch. Proof is in the pudding. 